Information, information, information is power. Pieces of information are kind of like a key. Every piece of information opens up some door, some opportunity, some choice. And without having those choices, it's hard for consumers to have control. So information equals options. That's why information and referral is a very, very valuable part of what Centers for Independent Living do. Hey, you know, Centers for Independent Living usually aren't into product endorsement, but uh, we have adopted a philosophy taken on by a swoosh company that says, just do it. In order to live independently, people with disabilities have to learn how to manage money, eat, clean, do all of those things that it takes to be out there on your own. So Centers for Independent Living do things like teach computer lessons, help people with mobility management, all of those things that you have to do in the community to have options. Again, we help our consumers learn to just do it. Oh yeah, well we're not into product placement. We're doing the NASCAR thing, you know, Ray-Bans, drink product. Just do it. That's IL skills training, baby. Get by, get by, get by, get by with a little help from our friends. Peer mentoring and support. Why is that so critical in independent living? Well, look at it this way. If you were visiting a new city, would you want to get information from someone who's visiting with you or someone who lives there? I think someone who lives there. Your chances of being successful, your chances of finding the right path for you, knowing what's on that path, increase tremendously when you've connected with someone who's been there, done that, has the t-shirt, so to speak. Also, peer mentoring and support is important in not going down roads or making the same mistake twice. You might make all new mistakes, but having that local expertise, having expertise from somebody who understands what disability means to them is really important in terms of extending the chances that you might reach your goals. Finally, you know that old adage that two heads are better than one? That's true, um, except for maybe when it's raining and you only have one hat. Advocacy does rock. It rocks because Centers for Independent Living are probably the best disability organizations nationwide to do it. Why? Because it's part of our mandate, part of our core services. But secondly, because we so strongly believe in the expertise and choice driven by consumers. Advocacy takes place when uh, a person shows up at the same meeting month after month after month to bring the same message that people with disabilities deserve opportunities. It takes place when an advocate goes to this meeting over here and that meeting over here and that meeting over there and speaks up loudly to say disability, people with disabilities count. You know, the first one is sidewalk grass always showing up. The second one is sort of a whack-a-mole sticking your head up. It may get hit, but you're going to speak up for disability. 
Then there's that person who goes out and does that certainly outrageous thing to prove that people with disabilities belong. And that's the what I would call the uh, speed bump approach. You know, once you hit that speed bump once, you'll never forget it's there. But in any sense of the word, no matter how you do advocacy, it rocks. And Centers for Independent Living are there to guide and lead the fight. Rock on advocacy, part of the valuable services that SILs deliver.